Yeah, this is MC Verse representing Pendulum and Crunch recordings. This is Steve Bridge. This is Optic from Cause for Concern. Yo, this is Mindscape. This is Matt from Concord Dawn. I'm JK. This is Sound Metric from DC. People, you are now locked down with the sub sessions. Sub sessions. Sub sessions. Sub sessions with Bulletproof. Bulletproof. With the sub sessions with Bulletproof. Live. Live. Exclusive. On George FM. Keep it locked to the George FM. George FM. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sub sessions, and uh, I have a very special guest on the line. Uh, man hailing all the way from Atlanta, Shadow Law Recordings head honcho, DJ Mayhem. How you going, bro? I'm good. How are you? Good, mate. Good. Hey, um, so give us a bit of a background, man. Uh, what got you into what got you into producing drum and bass, and uh, what were you, what were your sort of uh, major influences back in the day? Uh, well, for me, I started playing guitar at eight, and uh, about the time I was eleven, I have a sister who's five years older than me. She started going out to raves and stuff, bringing back mixtapes and CDs and things. And uh, I just started taking her CDs, borrowing them, listening to it. I got into random whatever, you know, techno, house, jungle, whatever it was. Uh, that was like 90, 94. And I just uh, was always into making music, was playing guitar or drums, whatever it was with my friends. And it got to the point where uh, I wanted to try to start making some kind of electronic music. I didn't really have any kind of firm concept as to what genres were or anything like that, but I had a neighbor, but I went and he was producing music on this old school tracker, golf based thing uh, called Scream Tracker. I ended up getting that off of him, uh, started writing some tunes in there, just sitting up all night, getting into it that way, and uh, eventually it just kind of snowballed into me, you know, producing tunes all the time, wanting to DJ. Uh, about the time I was 15, started DJing, uh, practiced for two years or so, and then when I was 17, I started playing out, and it's kind of the rest is history. Yeah, man. Well, definitely, uh, definitely a pretty uh, prolific history there as well, bro. Um, you started Shadow Law in 2003, man. Like you pretty much, have you, you've got the US market for uh, drum and bass, well, the Neurofunk style of drum and bass summed up, man. Can you t- tell us a bit more about the label? Um, I started the label right around maybe 2000 is when like I first had the whole entire idea for the label and concept and things like that. Uh, I was really influenced by Come On, Rob Data, Ed Rush Optical, Matrix, Bad Company, Trace, that whole crew. Uh, that was the sound for me always in drum and bass. And uh, so I wanted to start a label, mainly just to release my stuff. And uh, eventually uh, I kind of got to the point where I was like, I'm not really happy with the things that I'm doing. And I want to find uh, some other people who are doing interesting things that are in that vein. And that's when I came across Rob F. and Impulse from Synthetics and signed some tunes from them, started producing music with them. Um, those guys definitely like took me along the way uh, as far as uh, my sound and vibe and just 
my approach to produ producing music. And uh, there, I just, you know, kept look looking on the internet and fought, trying to find artists that I was feeling. Came across Noisia, uh, 2003 or 2001 or so, maybe. Uh, I, c I can't even remember, to be honest, through the years <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, so I went on to, to hook up with Noisia. I went to Holland in, in January 2003. Uh, my first international gigs and stuff, and I went went with them, stayed for two weeks, and started making music together. Um, yeah, put them out. Can't, then eventually came across. I met Faith in that same trip. Uh, he came up for the party, and uh, you know, eventually through him met Misanthrope, and it's, that's kind of, uh, the kind of how the crew came together. Yeah, man, yeah. totally. Um, <laughs> you've been uh, you've been touring a lot, man. You spent time in Europe, and you've obviously toured Australia, New Zealand, UK been up to Japan and, you know, Canada and places like that. Where else next, man? What are you up to as far as DJing goes to? Uh, it's, it's with the DJing, um, I've, like, this the past year or so, I've really started to mix it up. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, to not pigeonhole myself in the drum and bass. I've been writing a lot of dubstep for the past three years. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and, and within the past year, I've started writing electro, indie rock, new rave, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, for those, um, that, for those that don't know, uh, Mayhem is actually the person who introduced me to dubstep as well, so I was just doing a radio show this morning and I was talking about you on the air, mate, saying what an influence you were back in the day. <laughs> nah, that's what's up, and, and you're killing it. Sure. You smashed it harder than any of my team, so... <laughs> I created a monster. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just I try to stay busy, just doing all kinds of different things. You know, um, to, it, it keeps it fresh for me, and I, I stay interested in the music because I'm not just doing one style of things anymore. Like it, it really got boring for a while, just doing drum and bass. I'd feel uninspired a lot, and um, you know, like listening purely to drum and bass music all the time, like that, really got old for me. So I think since I've kind of branched out a bit with, with the style of music that I'm DJing and the styles of music that I'm, that I'm producing, I feel like everything's kind of bleeding over into each other and yeah. it's becoming one big mess. Yeah, and obviously the music's become a lot more accessible to a lot more people as well, like, uh, you know, drum and bass people are accepting, you know, dubstep as part of the dance now, so it's not like it's a shock to the system when people are on the dance floor anymore, so it's a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I, it's it's not often that I usually mix mix uh, go in between things. Like I save that for more festival kind of shows uh, in the states. Like the, the the big thing is kind of like the jam band hippie scene. They've really um, gotten in tune with with like electronic music in general. They're into drum and bass. They're into electro. They're into dubstep. Um, all that kind of stuff. And you know, occasionally I'll, I'll go in between that. But I'm also trying to focus separately on each of those things and to do pure dubstep sets and pure electro sets and drum and bass, etc. Yeah, and you, uh, you've actually, you sent me a file last week that was pretty much a new dubstep album, man. Tell us a bit more about that. Um, well, uh, it's it's still part of my, my whole album. I'm not really trying to stick it as drum and bass or dubstep or one thing or the other, but um, on the mix, uh, the first first three tunes are from my album. That, like, There's a ton of album tunes that are interspersed within the mix. Um, but it's mostly dubstep and drum and bass, and then I have uh, a lot of like down tempo, 100 BPM ish kind of stuff that's you know filling the gaps in between the album. Yeah. Uh, just more personal things that I that I make for myself, but more so than like thinking about a dance floor or anything. It's just kind of uh, yeah, my emo side. So. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the album, and it's called Into Oblivion. Um, not quite sure when it's going to come out. I'm, I've been really particular about it. I want it to be really right when I do it because it's my first album. And aside from the uh, release that I just did on Gridlock's label, Injection and, and Meant to Be, the collab with him, uh, Injection is the first solo tune I've ever released. So when this album comes in, it's going to be my first solo material, really. Wicked, man. So. <laughs> that Injection tune is heavy as well, man. I've been, I know I've been playing that. Flo from Face has been playing that for ages now, man. It's the, one of the brilliant dance floor tunes. Just rolls. Thank you. Um, aesthetics, man. Tell us a bit more about that and what you're up to with 404audio.com. Um, with Aesthetics, uh, it's a drum and bass label I started to kind of um, have an outlet for a lot of these guys who are sending me demos on A that have really quality tunes that, that just aren't getting picked up because uh, the way that the market's gone with everything going more digital and... Um, just like, I don't know, the way, the nature of drum and bass. It's very name-oriented and, and profile-oriented. And I, I wanted to kind of do a label that that wasn't so concerned with that. Um, 
I wanted to just put out music, and I don't really care if it sells or if it doesn't. I just want to put out things that I'm that I'm feeling, and make a home of these producers that are sending me amazing tunes that don't get them out otherwise. Right. So um, the next release is from CERN. By no means are they unheard. So yeah, man. boys have been killing it. And uh, I find find this twelve from them a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm definitely proud to be putting that one out. It's coming out next. And then I've got stuff from Engage from Russia, this guy Equivalent from Bulgaria. He's really blowing me. Everything he does is, is really quality. And um, in the future, uh, Dabs, um, I've, I've just got a bunch of tunes lined up for that that I just, you know, names that uh, that aren't putting out on subtitles and RAM and et cetera, you know, just, yeah. just some, some good, uh, more underground guys. Cool, man. Get well, for them. Nice. Well, uh, on that note, um, I'm going to let you uh, take away a mix, man. We'll uh, showcase some of these beats. And uh, for those that don't know, if you want to catch up more with uh, what Mayhem's up to, it's www.myspace.com slash mayhemslr or slash Shadow Law Recordings. And, uh, yeah, take it away with the mix, bro. Thank you. Big up, Jay. Right, man. Peace. That's right. As I was saying, sounds of the DJ Mayhem, straight out of Atlanta. Head on to a Shadow Law Recordings. Just a wee bit of a showcase about what my man's, man's been up to. One of the most talented producers in the drum and bass scene. And fast becoming one of the most uh, talented producers in the US uh, drum scene. Check this mix out, you'll enjoy it.
1223 here on the substations. Got to send a big shout out to Brad B. That's B Line Zero Hour, all the way out there in Ontario, Canada. Locked in online. This one's for you, y'all. Sounds like DJ Mayhem. Straight out of Atlanta. Send a big shout out to Dave and Selena from Fat. Of course, the substation is brought to you every week by the people at Fat. Big, big, big music one with the lineup. Looking like Banger and Scream on the 30th. Distance on the 1st. I think your dubstep needs will be taken care of. That's Fat 10, Anangahua Forest. The place to be for New Year's. Send a big, big shout out to Ben. Glad you like the album, bro. No albums to give away this week, unfortunately. But I'm sure I have some more giveaways coming up in the future. Go. Cool. 
Shout out to those people testing in. Glad you're feeling it. Didn't catch the start of the show. This is DJ Mayhem all the way out of Atlanta. Representing Shadow Law. A special mix for you. 12.33 here on the Subsessions. You're locked to George FM.
Sounds of the mayhem. Some dirty wee rollers coming up in this little section. Once again, straight out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, all the way over there in the States. Big, big shout out to the mayhem. Don't forget, as I was saying before, If you want to find out more about the one like the, uh, the Mayhem, www.myspace.com slash Mayhem SLR. Plenty of new bits up on his little page there.
12.55 here on the Substations. You're locked into the sound of mayhem. And if you're feeling what you're hearing, there will be a full archive and track listing up on the Substations Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and search Substations with Bulletproof. Otherwise, go to the George FM page, www.georgiefm.co.nz. And you can find a full archive and track list up on the website. Just search out the Bulletproof Show. We'll, however, be finishing up early tonight. Very busy morning. About another 20 minutes of the show left. Mayhem rolling through. Dirty South stuff.
10 past 1 in the morning here on the Subsessions. You're locked in at George FM. Sending a big, big shout-out to Murray and Nick. The Nick D just left the studio on their way to London via Royal Brunei. Business class upgrades. Bastards. Of course, Nick D broadcasting live from London, Notting Hill Carnival. Every breakfast for the next week. Going to be absolutely brilliant. Make sure you tune in. This is the last one for the show tonight. As I said, I've got to cut the show early tonight. Got a busy morning. You've been locked into the sub-sessions. Last hour's worth of uh, music's come to you, courtesy of Atlanta, Georgia. Man going by the name of Mayhem. Representing Shadow Law Recordings. And you should be seeing Mayhem out here sometime soon. I think he was talking about November. So if you like what you heard, I will keep you updated. Don't forget, as I was saying before, full track listing and archives available on the uh, Subsessions with Bulletproof Facebook page. Otherwise, I am about to start updating the uh, Subsessions page on the, on the George web uh, on the George website. Just search out Subsessions with Bulletproof. Good luck in next week. Gonna have a very special guest mix. Continuing in the vein of uh, a wee mix and interview from people that I'm feeling. We've got a man who's uh, all the way from Wellington and has come with a brand new album called Innuendo. Going by the name of Trey. And I tell you, it's a very, very, very awesome New Zealand uh, piece of New Zealand music. And so he's gonna be doing a mix for us and a wee interview. And basically letting us know what he's been up to and showcasing the album. Once again, apologies to all those people that uh, can experience the uh, online dropouts. It is, it is, uh, I'm assured it is being uh, taken care of. You can't win them all. Right, that's the show for this week. Cheers for your ears. Stay safe. And have a good weekend.